have revoked their access, all of them, now. Lana, what's going on? Where are you? Dark Lord, I realize how informal this must seem, but time is short. Our former Emperor, Vishyad, he's... I don't care what they tell you, assume they're lying and deal with them. He's here, Vishyad's presence, here on Zyast. He's taking over this outpost, controlling soldiers and Sith, using them to murder anyone he can. Back up. Start from the beginning. With all respect, my lord, we don't have the time. I'm sending coordinates. We'll hold this bunker as long as we can, but you must hurry or- Lana, can you read me? Lana! Zayost. I had foreseen your arrival, but I didn't believe it. I thought, after bearing witness to my rebirth on the Yavin Moon, why? Why would you stand in the face of certain death? You're far from stupid, I know that much. Overly ambitious, perhaps. Well, regardless, I do hope you find your time on Zyost. Enlightening. You'll bear witness to a world's end if you survive long enough. He's gone. I can... I can finally... More of you already. I suppose I should be flattered. So you've arrived. Good. There's much to be done. I take it the Republic knows what's happening already. The SAS knows, at the very least. Difficult to say beyond that. Everything's happened so fast. The Jedi you fought belong to the Sixth Line. SIS commandos who follow their own addendum to the Jedi Code, hence the name. There is no contemplation. There is only duty. A great point of view, so long as they're working for you. Pardon the interruption. I sent a probe droid to look into that crash shuttle, Minister Benico. It's empty. This is Agent Rain Kovac. He's been something of a rising star in Sith intelligence here on Zyost. I'd like to hear more about these Jedi. Do we know what they were up to here? You can thank our friend Theron Shan for that. The Sixth Line arrived when Vichy had started making moves. It's not clear yet how Agent Shan knew to send them, but we do know he's responsible. As you've witnessed, Vichy is taking hold of an increasing number of soldiers and Sith. His goal continues to be the accumulation of power. Agent. The dark side is strong on Zyast. Using the outpost's resources, our former Emperor can massacre the defenseless to fuel him. The more powerful he becomes, the more people he can control. He will keep on killing until nothing's left. Yes, I'm on my way. I'm needed everywhere all at once. I've already lingered too long. Agent Kovac has a plan to help stem the bloodshed. It's an honor, my lord. Here's what I have in mind. The outpost armory is wide open right now. It's where the possessed have been getting their firepower. It needs to be placed on lockdown. That won't be enough to stop him. No, it won't. 
but we have to start somewhere. I'll go out ahead. Be your eyes and ears. You sure cleared a path out there. That's good. But it's bad, too. Each time a pawn's killed, Vitiate gets a little bit stronger. Not as much as when they kill, but... Well, that's what Minister Benico says, anyway. So we have to stop them without killing them? Or we destroy Vitiate. Not that anyone seems to know how to do that. Agent. Company. Almost there. Master Soro. Sixth Line Commander. I like this one. Strong-willed. Not that it will save her. Or anyone on this world. If it's a challenge you want, then try possessing me, Vitiate. No, I don't see the point. I would much prefer to watch you fail without any help from me. When this world turns to red, and you choke on torrents of blood, remember that this was your chance to flee. A chance I... gave! There is no... contemplation. There is only... duty. We're wasting time here. The armory's safe. You go ahead. I'll be close behind. I can confirm it. The defenses are down. Between those weapons and the armory, a lot of the killing power is out of their hands now. Should be able to start evacuation efforts as well. The fewer potential targets on Zyast, the better. Shouldn't you be in a dark council meeting or something? You know, debating and voting on what to do about the Emperor? There is no need. Nor is there the time. Vitiate's progress must be stopped. Glad to hear we're on the same page. You know this person? Theron Shan. S.I.S. Really? Well, if you came here to save your sixth line, you're too late. I don't know what you could have been thinking. All you've done is give Vitiate more fuel for his fire. Second guess me all you want, but that's not gonna help us stop him. Oh, so you have a plan. A plan? A plan would be great, but no. Unfortunately, I don't know how to stop the most powerful being in the galaxy. I do know we have to try something. That's about it. The way things are out there, I can't believe I even made it this far. As soon as I crash landed, the Emperor's puppets started coming for my shuttle, just like that. Maybe figured on some easy kills inside. They're the only thing I could think of. Rig the ship to overload, fry everything in and around it. Tried to shield myself, but still scrambled half my implants. And that stopped the attack? They went down, yeah. Some of them got back up, but they seemed out of it. Not possessed. Dazed. Intrusion! Vitiate's pawns! I have a thought. Be ready for anything. That was a... a nightmare. What? It's you. My lord, I, I am... I don't know what to say. Leave. Now. You won't get a second chance. So now we know. Shock them unconscious and the tie is severed. Well, for a while, at least. Hit enough of them hard enough and they'll be out for a good long while. Yeah, but how do we do that? I have some ideas. I need to consult the new Adasta Municipal Systems. You gonna need a hand with that? Some backup? No. I'll be in touch. Well, he seems confident. Is he any good? Lana vouches for him. Lana Benico, Minister of Sith Intelligence. <laughs> Who'd have thought it, right? When I met her on Manon, she was in over her head. Seemed to be. She's come a long way since then. Yeah, I suppose you're right. I mean, what do I know, anyway? 
I should never have sent my team here. I made a bad situation worse, and now... And now I've got a priority holocall. Great. You've been busy, Agent Sean. Chancellor. An off-the-books mission to Zyost. A secret team of Jedi that... I don't even know where to start with you about them. Everything's happened so fast, you don't realize... No, I do realize. I realize that you declined to inform me of a prime opportunity to cripple the Empire and face the Emperor head on. We're taking advantage of the chaos on Zyost, starting with New Adasta. I expect your cooperation. Wait, please, before you send the order... You don't seem to understand, Agent Sean. There's nothing to argue. Our ships are in orbit. The invasion's already begun. I tried to reach you, to tell you. This won't end well. The time for hand-wringing ended when you shut down the Orbital Defense Command Center, Agent. With respect, you haven't seen what I have on the ground. The power the Emperor holds. I'm aware, Agent. Now, if you have a report on Sith Intelligence or the SIS, we can talk. But you will not tell me how to fight a war. Damn. This is bad. That is one way of putting it. I take it you heard all that. Or enough of it. Lana holds you in such high esteem. Her rising star. But you're little more than a talking dung worm. I know it looks bad. Okay, it, it is bad. <laughs> But listen, I have a plan to stall Vishit's progress. At least for a while. It requires that we work together. Let me help you. This isn't over. No. No, I wouldn't think so. What was that thing? We've been calling them monoliths. I promise I wasn't eavesdropping. Just wanted to warn you. We've seen several of those creatures appearing throughout New Adasta. They're made from Sith alchemy, a sign of Vitiate's growing power. Extremely strong, next to impossible to kill. The one you just defeated is the smallest we've come across. Its power's already returned. I'm afraid so. Plan's over. Scrapped. Some giant thing tore through a junction. Caused an electrical surge. Dampeners are shot. There has to be another way. I thought about an electrical bombardment from space, but it would be incredibly imprecise. We'd be as likely to kill a lot of people as anything. Besides, the two fleets have engaged each other. Maybe if we convince Suresh or Darth Maar to divert some forces... Agent report. It won't work, Minister. I failed. Agent, don't you have something else to say? I... Speak, or I will. Minister Benico, I... I place myself at your mercy. Well, spit it out, Agent. We haven't all day. I don't work for you. I answer to the Supreme Chancellor of the Republic. I'm sorry. Sorry? You're sorry? I want him executed. Now. As you wish. No! Please! Now let's move on. I have another plan. A better plan. However, it's not without a great deal of risk. I'm listening. War has broken out across the globe. Our former Emperor, however, has limited his involvement to the area around New Adasta, near you. 
I don't think it's a coincidence. It's possible he isn't as strong as he's been letting on. It's possible he's worried about what you could do. He sees in me someone who could one day surpass him. He has every right to be worried. Good. I need you to maintain that confidence for what's to come. Get all of his pawns, every last soldier, Jedi and Sith, to stop their slaughter and chase you into the heart of New Adasta. You must make Vishyad want to kill you, now. You've made it, good. Time is short. So is reliable assistance. As Agent Kovach is no longer in the picture, I've taken the liberty of reaching out to someone I hope we can trust a little bit better. Are you in position? Yeah, but this setup isn't anything like what you described. So what you're saying is you can't figure it out? Don't get all... I'll figure it out. We're about to begin, so that would be nice. What exactly are we about to begin, Lana? You're going to make Fishet angry. So angry that he'll place all his attention on killing you. When the time comes, you'll lead him to an electrostatic weapon stored here, in the heart of New Adasta. It's meant to be a last resort against major civil uprisings, but Theron's modifying it to be non-lethal. With the reduced charge, its radius of impact will diminish. Fine. Let's get started. Yes, let's. Hear me, Vitiate. All your airs of immeasurable power, yet all I see is the manipulation of the weak-minded, the slaughter of the infirm. You conveniently avoid the true challenge, the one you cannot match wills with, the one you cannot hope to strike down. Come and be tested. I think that did it. I have to go now. There's much to be done. Too much. I shouldn't have come here, truth be told. No need to linger on my account. I'll get it done. I imagine you will. May the Force serve you well. You think I don't know what you're doing? My intellect is beyond you and every other Dark Council member combined. I know more than you could learn in a thousand lifetimes. And I will enjoy watching you fail. Go ahead. Kill them. Kill the Jedi. If you let them live, they will just keep murdering in my name. Don't hesitate. Kill them. <laughs> I won't mind. And neither will your Republic friend. What are you doing? This is not the act of a proper Sith Lord. That's it. Got to set for as big a non-lethal burst as we can manage.
Should be enough to zap anyone in range into a nice, long, involuntary nap. Should be. Hard to come up with a one-size-fits-all solution. A lot of guesswork involved. Wish there was some way we could do a test run. They've got to be closing in. Then come on, we need to be shielded. Wait until they're good and close. I saved two of your Jedi, by the way. Shot them instead of killing them. I appreciate it. You better. It's your fault they're here in the first place. Yeah, thanks for reminding me. Okay, here comes the Puppet Brigade. Fingers crossed. Closest, took the biggest hit. Still alive. We did it. Let's just hope we got all of them. We should call Lana now, see if she has a plan for what's next. I have a better idea. Master Soro. No. Watching you believe you had a chance. It's amused me. Now, this whole charade is pathetic. Now, how do you wish to die? In combat? Or on your knees? Go away, little sip. This has nothing to do with your friends. This is you and I. All right, Emperor. Let's get this over with. I saw it. I saw everything. Every life. Every life he took. I took. It's all I can see anymore. I'm a monster. It's not true. You'll be okay. I'll take you to Tython. The Jedi will help you restore your mind and make you whole again. And then she'll be no good to us. We need to understand the connection Bishop established with this Jedi so we can stop it or exploit it. Yeah, and let me guess. The process is invasive. Hasn't she been through enough? We've bought ourselves some time, that's all. We can't risk the fate of the galaxy just to assuage your guilt. You want to take her brain apart, and you don't even know if you'll find anything. We have to try. He's never leaving. I'm going to hear him forever. Lana, you take her. What? You've got to be kidding me. I don't even know what to say to you. This is your mess now. I'm... I'm gone. I'll see that she's taken somewhere secure. You know, Vishak gave up on trying to take control of me some time ago. Perhaps he's not as powerful as we were led to believe. Still, he is more than formidable. We've only stopped him temporarily, and war still rages. We have much to do. Darth Maul, you wanted a word? I couldn't make that out. Could you repeat? I'm curious. Do you really believe you've accomplished anything here? What do you think you've stopped? You would feed on every last life in the galaxy to become immortal. I won't let that happen. I have already cheated death. I have other plans now, as you will see. I have decided 
that life is more interesting with you in it. If you wish to keep railing against me, then so be it. Your interference changes nothing. When I am finished here, when every life on this world has been exhausted, I want you to be alive, to know that I succeeded. Goodbye. I take it you've heard about Zyost. I saw it for myself. It was a blur. We tried to evacuate as many as we could. Considering so much was out of control, I'd say we did all right. But Vitiate is stronger now. Sith intelligence is in complete disarray. It's all coming apart. It's a setback to be sure, but this isn't over. Not even close. When Darth Arcus first asked for my counsel, I considered turning him down. I wanted understanding, not a place in the power structure. But that's where I am. I don't take the responsibility lightly. Whatever comes my way, I will deal with it. I've seen what you're capable of. I know you won't disappoint. Thank you, my lord. Especially after Zyost. Putting an end to Vichit's threat feels like an impossible task. I don't believe it truly is impossible. Even if it were, we have to try. Is that optimism? It would appear so. Imagine that. Well, the Republic are licking their wounds, same as us. But they aren't relenting. And they're hardly our only concern. I suppose I should go about looking after the security of the Sith Empire. Unless there was anything else. Were we able to get anywhere with the commander of the Sixth Line? It's not been fruitful so far. But our technicians have managed to keep Master Suro alive. We'll keep searching for a link. I'm confident something will come of it. Thank you for trusting me. May the Force ever serve you. <laughs> 